Hey guys, I have the Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 with me and now a new feature has been released recently after the One UI 5 update and with which you can enable a whole lot of gestures and these gestures are so powerful and so good you can do anything with the movement of your hand and these gestures also resembles the gestures of the Apple Watch and we will see the gestures which are added in this watch. So in this video we will see the new feature that has been added to the watch which is the universal gestures and also we'll see how it works. So as always this video will be a sick video guys and if you are attending to see us don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And hit that bell notification up because I will be making more videos like this. So first of all you can see if I come to the settings of the words there is an option of accessibility. And in here you will get the option of interaction and dexterity and here you will get the universal gestures. Which once turned on will enable a whole lot of gestures which resembles the Apple Watch gestures. Once I am enabling this gesture you will see that you need to give some of the permissions in the watch which are required. And once you have given them you need to just click on this tick sign. And here you can see the gestures which are recently added. So the first gesture is the pinch and with the pinch. It means that I can go to the next item or I can also open some of the apps or anything I want. So there is a lot of option and with the double pinch you can assign the same also. There is an option of make fist which means that you just need to close your fist like this and an action on the watch will be executed and here also you can do the same with the make fist twice which is really, really good. So there are four gestures available and with these gestures you can control the whole watch here. So this shows that how far we have come. We have come to the information age from the industrial age. Make no mistake the information travels in the speed of light and if you don't know, now you know. So let's see what is there in the gesture tutorial and how these gestures work. Here you can see all the gestures how to perform and this is the finger gesture which is required to be done so you can practice the gestures here so that you can execute them perfectly on the watch and you can do a lot of things apart from that like you can activate the gestures with some of the other gestures so there is a shake gestures or there is a nod or knock knock so here also you will be getting all the tutorials so shake gesture means you need to just rotate your arm twice with which you can activate this universal gestures or the not gesture means you just need to move your arm twice and at the same time knock knock means you just need to do a knock knock pattern with which you can activate them. You can also set it to auto activate when screen on and there is auto scan option also with which it can scan your gestures and there is a focus indicator which you can set. Once the universal gestures are activated you will see a border on the screen and that border can be in the color of blue, red, green, yellow, gray, whatever you want to set that. And there is a cursor scan also which means you can move the cursor on the screen of the watch with the gestures and you can also set the cursor speed here. You can make it slow, you can make it fast and there you can set the delay time also before which the gestures will be executed and cursor color also you can choose from here so a whole load of options are available here and action menu favorites here you can add some of the favorite things on the action menu which will be shown once you are doing those gestures and you can add or remove these things from there now we will see how these gestures work and whether it is working or not on the watch. So first of all let me configure the gestures where I have configured the pinch for the next item. Double pinch for previous item and make fist to tap and make fist twice to open the action menu. So to activate the universal gesture I need to do a shake gesture. So I will just move my hand like this and do the gesture and you can see a blue line has popped up on the screen that means the universal gesture has been activated and now I can do whatever I want so let's open the action menu and see whether it is working or not so I will just open the action menu by doing this two times fist pump and you can see the action menu has opened and now 
I will just move to next item by doing a pinch gesture and you can see the next item has been selected so it is really fun and out of a sky fi move you can see how good they have configured this and it is working exactly like it should work on this watch definitely this is really really new thing so let's do a double pinch to see whether it is going to the previous item or not and you can see yes it is going to previous item and it is working absolutely fine so i want to select something and let's see whether i am able to select or not so i want to open the tiles to select i need to do a fist pump again and here is the tiles so you can see the tiles has opened so i want to again open the action menu and see whether the action menu is opening or not so it is saying the apps it has opened so in any screen you can open the action menu and you can select the things which you want to select so again i want to go to the previous place and open the apps here so i will do a double pinch and go to the previous previous item and let's see whether i am able to open the apps from here or not so you can see it is running perfectly fine here at the apps and i will do a fist pump and the apps has opened so this is really really fun and you can do whatever you want and you can open the apps or control the entire words with the help of the gestures which is absolutely amazing on the words and if you want to turn it off anytime you can turn off the universal gestures also so let's see what else we can do and let's try to open our important amp by the words with gesture so i will go to settings and come to accessibility and here we can see in the interaction and dexterity i am getting the option of universal gesture and in here i will just select an app in the action menu favorites so i am setting to open the bigsby in here and see whether this is working or not so again to activate i will do a wrist flip you can see the blue lines are there and here in the apps i will just go to the next item and here i will select the bigsby and you can see the bigsby has opened so it is really really easy to do this type of gestures without even touching the watch you can control it entirely if i want to go to the back screen i can do that and i can open the apps also so if i want to open apps i will just go to the apps and here i will just go from one item to another to open any app i want so i can open the samsung health by just doing a fist pump and you can see all the activity and details you can see from here and definitely don't need to touch your watch again if you are really really good in controlling these gestures so that's it guys i just wanted to show you this new universal gesture feature which has been added in this watch and definitely in future we will see more of these gestures what we can do and what are the things are possible with this universal gestures in the watch so definitely subscribe to my channel and like this video we'll be making more videos like this so thank you guys have a great day thank you